Who is the greatest cyclist of them all? There's only one way to decide this with a mighty game of basketball. No distance. Oh, 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 This altitude is killing me. Okay. I reckon we might need to be whoever scores first. Okay, whoever scores first, let's do it. It is! Oh! It's again! No, no, no. Come on. Get it! I kind of love hate thing going on with the drivers because yesterday it was a perfectly normal drivers gave me lunch. And I'm trying to think that those are the people who are honking at us and driving towards us. Yeah, it's been the same most of Asia. The people are lovely when they're outside their cars, but as soon as they're behind the wheel, Whoa, gone. <laughs> this happens. Woo! Coming into a town called Wuku now. Uh, Will was ahead of me because it's downhill. Yeah, selfie. And he was going to search for a cafe, so I hope he's found one. Ah, there he is. Ni hao, chodimo. What have you found? Have you ordered stuff yet? Just bread. No, I, I never quite know if we're going to meet up or not, so I didn't go for it. Cool. <laughs> Jayo? Yeah. Are you uh, Tibetan or Chinese? No. Like uh, Chodemo or Nihao? I'm just You alright? Smile Uh, nothing. No. It's really funny, isn't it? The whole crowd of people. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's like, limit. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Because they start off just by touching the tyres and then and then they try and just pick it up and it's like. I would go for a ride down the road. Have you ever done that with you? Have one, you had guy, people? Well, one of the guys yesterday it hopped on it and I was like, well, fair enough, actually, you're quite nice. Seems to know what you're doing. Yeah. One guy hops on the bus. Um, in one country, he just didn't know where the brakes were. And he's like, <laughs> Mr. Williams! <laughs> I just heard him like crash and stop. Oh, no, never again. Yeah. Oh. Here's a smug clip where I get to tell people this is going to be the best Lake D tour ever. <laughs> ever. Will's not convinced, <laughs> but we're heading down to a lake now. It's only like one mile out of our way, 
and I think we'll be able to find something really cool to camp down. Cool, so we're down by the lake, or pretty near to it, trying to find somewhere to sleep. Uh, Will is just asking somebody where we can sleep, we think down here. He thinks we can sleep here. I think we can as well, yeah. What's going on, Will? <laughs> we're trying to stay in the tourist center of a lake. Mm. <laughs> and they get trying to find us a room for ten pounds. Yeah. Which I would happily pay more than that because it's gonna be freezing tonight. <laughs> literally. Quite literally. Nice people around us. Oh, nice. <laughs> like a snake. Also, <laughs> we'll meet nice people around a snake. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Sometimes this makes very big mistakes. Is it? Ha ha ha! Yes, it's technology mm. that pulls you closer to me. Well, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you for the electric blankets. It will keep us warm tonight. <laughs> no, no, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you for the larger point to keep home tonight. No. Which point is saying something? Let's take a break. Oh. So yes, do yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks to some pretty good haggling from Ed. <laughs> We've got a bargain uh, tourist centre by a lake room for five pounds total. Yeah. I think this place is probably used more in the summer, but uh, in the winter there's like nobody here. And he was trying to ask us like 100 yuan. I thought that's a bit much for a cold room. Um, so we got it for 50. But we got some electric blankets. <laughs> So, well, it sounds on fire on the night, we should be okay. These are the sketchiest electric blankets ever, but we've got a shelter. It is freezing outside. I'm so glad I'm not in a tent. I don't care. I'm not. I don't care if you think I'm a wuss. Super I'm, cycling, man. <laughs> super. A bit of cold. Super. Just you know, why suffer needlessly, man? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm heading out. I'm gonna head out, take some photos, and then I'll be back, I don't know, maybe an hour. See you later, Will. See you later. This is the wetland. I want to go tonight to take photos uh, of the sky and the stars. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> very dangerous. Uh, um, can I walk on the path? We won't allow you to go. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, tomorrow morning? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool, thank you. Oh, Seven o'clock, okay, <laughs> go. <coughs> oh, they won't allow me to go. What? I know, we're locked in, we're gated in. Uh, and I asked that, asked that guy and he, he said no, it's too uh, dangerous. Uh, but he said seven o'clock, I can go. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. Sweet. So it'll be a bit dark, and we'll get the sunrise. So I think that'll be good. to the lake. I'm in a bird hide I think. Uh, it's not very really busy at the moment because it's not the summer. All the birds are gone. There's a few little ones around but that's about it. My hands are freezing. Uh, I just photographed the uh, the sunrise. It was very very pretty. Uh, but now I'm gonna head off, try and find Will, get the bikes and then we'll probably have a bit of food and then hit the road. But uh, yeah, lovely morning. Lovely, lovely morning. Oh, 
you can probably see some snot on my nose if, uh, if you're lucky. You could have been almost anyone, but we'll forget what went before and keep our heads up. There's something up on the road ahead, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but I think I've got an idea. Uh, I think a lorry's turned over. Oh my lord. Hey up, me again. So on this trip, I've frequently been asked, Ed, you know cycling around the world is great and all, but are you doing it for a particular cause? It's funny, you should ask that Santa Hat guy. Yes I am. I'm raising funds and awareness for the charity School on the Back. The team, based in Somerset, England, manufacture, fill and distribute little red rucksacks and send them all over the world to children in dire need of learning resources. Every single red rucksack sent out contains exercise books, lines squared and plain, pencils, colouring pencils, pens in a pencil case, a ruler, a math set, a water bottle, a bowl, a plate and my favourite, a little red spork. The cost to manufacture, fill, and deliver one school bag to one child is only £20. So if you can spare the money and would like to support this amazing initiative, please head over to my charity and donation page, uk.virginmoneygiving.com slash worldunicycletour. The link is in the description. If you enjoy my videos and want to be notified every time I upload a new one, hit that little red subscribe button. And if you could share this video, it'll help me reach a larger audience to share this message. Cheers, and I'll see you next week for the next installment of Ed Unicycles China. Oh yeah! Oh, dear. There are still a few, few birds around. In fact, just down there, there's a very rare, very rare species. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh... How'd you get up there? <laughs> Shh! It's a very rare, lesser spotted prat.